It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It's Barcelona facing Real Madrid. Good evening, what a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams, well, obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final. And what a final we've got. The pitch looks fantastic. The crowd are expecting. There's the trophy just sitting there and the players in the tunnel just about to do what they do best, go out, play and entertain us. with Champions League success and Lee the standards are so high absolutely it's a winning mentality once you've got that in a football club it's very difficult to let it go these players want to win finals well, this is what we think for Barcelona Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal Clément Langlais plays alongside Piquet in the middle of the defence and the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch. It certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. Now Jordi Alba. De Jong. Rakitic on the ball. Nelson Semedo. Rakitic. Suarez. Barcelona free kick. It'll be here. On the ball, Luis Suarez. Rakitic. On and on he goes. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Messi. Thumps clear. Rakitic. Now Griezmann. And passing with a velvet touch. Well, from a seemingly impossible angle, not far away at all. Well, he thought he had a decent chance to score. I'm not sure his teammates did, though, but a little bit unlucky. chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick and the keeper grabbing hold of that free kick Nelson Semedo, De Jong. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Far from a good pass. Well, the referee has reached for his pocket early on here. We've barely got started and already a yellow card. Now, will that be potentially problematic? Room to Rome for the Merengues here. Benzema. 
Not a particularly strong challenge. Azar! Keeper didn't quite do enough. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. And it crossed the byline, a goal kick as a result. Nelson Semedo. And Busquets. De Jong. Now Griezmann. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Lionel Messi is positioned at the back post. We get high marks for that move, but they couldn't make it count. And a small victory for the defender against Azar. Barca making progress. What can they do from this position? Lionel Messi. Tremendous ball played through. A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk for both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. and it's Barcelona in front and there's the whistle half time it is a radiant Champions League final up to this point Lee well nervous cagey boring not so this final this has been a really entertaining game so far looking forward to more of the same in the second half Derek Five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. And they'll get ready for the throw in. The ball with Luka Modric. Space on the flank. Modric. Vinicius Jr. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. That is excellent pressure high up the pitch. Untidy on the ball there, Nelson Semedo. Benzema. And whipped into the box. Well, not taking any chances and tipping that over the bar. Trailing as they are, they must make good use of this corner. But he's gone short with it. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Vinicius Jr. might really be able to trouble them here. Vinicius Jr. moving the ball nicely, trying to carve out the equaliser. Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Substitution for Real Madrid. Delivered into the box. Forthcoming. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Of course. Aiden Azar. Casemiro. Not a hard save for Tostegan to make. Now just couldn't keep the ball. Rodriguez, James Rodriguez being supported. Lucas Vasquez, run it magnificently and intercepted. This might have potential. And scope for the cross. Rakitic, 
Really high-class goalkeeping from Courtois. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure a victory. So the corner played into the box. Well, the header, but a comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Yeah, he has to do better than that. I could have saved that, Eric. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Low driven ball. Sergio Busquets. And in the second half, the signs are positive. They can't relax, Lee, but they ought to be pleased. All the Barcelona players will be looking up at the clock, that's for sure. Time is ebbing away. They have such a delicate lead. Will they? Lionel Messi! And the ball is in the net. And that is not going to count. The decision is offside, Lee. Well, it's a good decision from the assistant referee. Spot on there. Frankie de Jong, Suarez, de Jong, he's found a pocket of space, and Benzema in the middle, I must admit I thought he was going to score with that header, yeah it was a quality cross and he gets up well and it's just wide. Well, I'm pretty sure the manager's wondering how many more chances there'll be to get back into this game. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go with time not on their side. Carvajal making excellent progress with the ball at his feet and clears his lines. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. player Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well it is, you have expectations at the start of the season, all those long hard training sessions in pre-season, you kind of need a goal to get through that pain, and focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League! They've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, it probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. Well, this is the moment I love, sharing it with the fans. Ticket tapes coming down, the families in the stand, giving them all a wave. Well, they've travelled all over Europe watching this team. Now they get to share in this moment, fantastic. Well, it took fire as well as ice on the pitch. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> they get fed at the floor, Straight at the floor. 